I got this email from Phil. He's restored a Teletone Model 196 radio, but he's got some problems with the sound. It's oscillating and also when he tunes around the dial it's oscillating. He looked up the wiring diagram and noticed that there's a, a hundred picofarad capacitor missing in the circuit that goes across the volume control. I looked up the wiring diagram and the one that he's talking about is C5. And here's my response. I told him that it's an RF bypass and basically the bottom line is that capacitor drains off the unwanted RF from the radio. In this wiring diagram I'm going to show the audio in blue and the RF path in red. Now at the secondary of the IF, we actually have an IF signal, or RF signal, and an audio signal. Now what we want to do is steer the audio signal through the volume control and onto the grid of the 12AT6 for amplification and that amplified signal goes through C7 over to the output tube of the 50B5. Now the unwanted RF, that travels through C5 and gets grounded out. However, Phil says that he does not have this capacitor, so what happens in his radio is RF is also applied to the grid of the 12AT6. So now, along with the audio, that 12AT6 is trying to amplify the RF, and it does. And look at the pass that it can take. Now, not all the RF is going to go through the electrolytic capacitor C2. Some of it is going to actually go back over to the 12BE6. Some of it is actually going to go to the grid of the 50B5 at pin 6. And worst of all, it's going to go also through C7 with the audio signal over to the control grid of the 50B5. And it's going to amplify the RF. And at the output of 50B5, that RF is going to kind of like get bunched up up there because it cannot go through that audio transformer. So as you can see this situation here is not good. We've got unwanted RF in several places which is causing feedback and audio distortion. So that capacitor, C5, is very important in this circuit. It drains away the unwanted RF signal and allows the audio signal to be amplified by the 12AT6.